Jaguar has unveiled its XESV Project 8, its most powerful and track-focused road car yet. The British brand has removed the camouflage from the new sports sedan after its teeth back in May and revealed full technical details of the new machine. As previously revealed, the Project 8 is powered by a 441 kilowatts per 700 newton meters supercharged 5-liter V8, the most potent engine the company has ever installed into one of its road-going cars. It transmits its power to the road via an all-wheel drive system to ensure the four-door sedan can race from 0 to 100 kmh in a supercar-like 3.7 seconds. The suspension has been heavily modified, with stiffer springs and manually adjustable dampers for a more controlled ride. The ride height can be lowered up to 15 mm for track use. Braking is handled by Jaguar's new carbon ceramic braking package. Jaguar is also claiming an industry first for use of Formula One style silicone natride wheel bearings. The body has been heavily modified with wider aluminium front and rear guards to accommodate wider tires and carbon fiber has been used to craft much of the aggressive body kit, which includes a manually adjustable rear wing. The aerodynamic elements are hugely significant beyond 150 mph, even more so beyond 180 mph said Jaguar chief designer, Ian Callum. This is one of the most extreme vehicles we have ever created, but still very much a Jaguar. The Project 8 will only be built in left-hand drive. A strange decision for an English car marker. Only 300 examples of the Project 8 will be produced and each will be hand-built at Jaguar's new SVO Technical Center. Special Operations Managing Director John Edwards explained that the ethos behind Project 8, which follows the F-Type-based Project 7, was to push the limits of the still relatively new performance division of Jaguar Land Rover. SBO's reason d'etre is to produce handle vehicles that push the boundaries in terms of luxury, performance and all-terrain capability, Edwards said. Project 8 is a great example of what happens when enthusiastic designers, engineers and manufacturing specialists are given the opportunity to create an extreme performance sports car without compromise. Project 8 will be assembled by hand in the new SVO Technical Center, and we're confident that our enthusiastic and demanding clients will love driving Project 8 as much we do. Jaguar will offer two versions of the XESV Project 8, a four-seater and a two-seat track pack that features racing seats and harnesses. Pricing in Europe will start at £149,995, New Zealand dollars and Jaguar is offering a range of optional extras, including the ability to create your own bespoke model with 10,000 custom colors to choose from. The XESV Project 8 will make its public debut at the Goodwood Festival of Speed which opens early Friday. Aston Martin has been playing with the concept of an electric rapide for a while now, but the engineers in Gaten have never followed through with the production version. Now, after a few false starts, the company has unveiled plans to offer 155 Albanian Lex electric rapide coupes in 2019. The Rapid E will be developed alongside the team at Williams Advanced Engineering, and shares plenty with the upcoming Rapide AMR. Aston Martin is promising the car will feel like the V12 model in the corners, and won't have its sensuous lines ruined by the swap from internal combustion to battery power. Of course, the driving experience will be vastly different in the Rapid E. The V12 whale that defines the current Rapide and Vanquish will be notably absent in the all-electric model, but on the other hand you'll have access to huge reserves of torque from standstill. Beyond the fact it'll be a pure EV, Aston Martin is remaining tight-lipped on the performance of its first electric car. Around the launch of the initial Rapid E concept, CEO Andy Palmer told Autocar a production model could be available in rear drive and all-wheel drive trim, with power outputs ranging from 550 to 800 horsepower, 410 to 597 kilowatts. Those power outputs are on a par with what we might expect of a high-performance EV in 2017, although the 200-mile 322 kilometers 
range mentioned in the same auto car article lags well behind what Tesla is offering in the Model S. Aston Martin says it will be releasing more information about range and power in the lead up to the car's launch in 2019. Having unveiled the Rapid E concept back in October 2015 we reach another milestone with the confirmation that we are now putting the first all-electric Aston Martin into production, said Palmer in a press release. The internal combustion engine has been at the heart of Aston Martin for more than a century, and will continue to be for years to come. Rapid E will showcase Aston Martin's vision desire and capability to successfully embrace radical change, delivering a new breed of car that stays true to our ethos and delights our customers. British sports car maker Aston Martin has scaled back production plans for its first electric model after cash-strapped investment partner Lico pulled out of the project, Chief Executive Andy Palmer told Reuters on Monday. The result, though, may be an even more exclusive car, aimed at customers who consider Tesla's top-of-the-range $130,000 Model S to be a little too run-of-the-mill. Aston Martin will build only 155 of its Rapid-E, about a third of the initial plan, and lean more heavily on Formula One engineering specialist Williams after the withdrawal of Chinese TV and smartphone vendor Lico. Palmer said. The setback in Aston's response underscore the challenges and risks niche car makers face as they scramble to address future demand for electrification from consumers and regulators. The privately held Aston Martin brand benefits from the endorsement of fictitious spy James Bond, but it lacks the backing of a large automotive parent that many rivals enjoy. We've decided to make this car rare, which will obviously tend to push the price higher. Palmer said. Aston Martin now plans to proceed independently, funding further development of Rapid E by ourselves. Palmer agreed to be interviewed after sources told Reuters Aston Martin's partnership with Lico had unraveled. Unveiling the lines in February last year, Lico and Aston pledged to launch an all-electric version of the Rapid E sedan in 2018. But the Chinese conglomerate has since splashed its electric car investments, including its U.S. startup Faraday Futures planned $1.3 billion U.S. dollars factory in Nevada. Some Faraday suppliers, including seat maker Futurist and media provider Mill Group, have sued the company for non-payment, according to court records. Spokesmen for Lico and Faraday did not respond to requests for comment on the end of the Aston partnership. Aston Martin declined to discuss its partner's business. Aston returned to profit in the first quarter, a decade after it was sold by Ford. Now owned by private equity groups Investi Industrial and Kuwait's Investment Dark, the company is rolling out a new model each year under a top recovery plan drawn up by Palmer, who joined from Nissan in 2014. Without Lico's backing, the sports car maker, based in Gaten, Warwickshire, is pushing ahead as sole investor in the electric car, after paring down production and pushing back the launch date to 2019. The plan won board approval on June 21. Aston will start taking orders next month with 10% down payments on the Rapid E, priced just shy of £200,000. $336,000 in its home market before incentives. That's a significant premium on the £150,000 entry ticket for its V12 model, whose 5.9-litre engine develops 470 horsepower. Batteries will come from a new production facility built by a consortium led by Williams Advanced Engineering, the F1 team's technical division, with matched British government funding. Williams which supplies power packs to the Formula E electric car racing series, also built the Rapid E prototype unveiled in 2015. Beyond the Rapid E, Aston's first full production battery car will be an electric version of the DBX crossover it is launching in 2019, hoping for a repeat of the success that greeted its DB11 coupe, with a little help from the latest Bond film. The Rapid E project was always about learning and readiness for the DBX derivative, Palmer said. We can do that through a limited series.